I'm going to show you the easiest way on how you can dominate or get, you know, the majority of your traffic coming from United States. Okay, so uh, first thing is why do we need to get traffic from United States or anyway from UK? Suppose you have a Google AdSense. So we know CPM from these tier one countries like United States, United Kingdom will have you know pretty much high cpm okay so as you can see one of my website here for example this one united states as you can see it's dominating the impression majority of the traffic coming from united states so this is like around a three four month old website and uh we haven't got uh, much visitor at the moment but it will grow uh, but the thing is look at this the impressions from united states almost fifty-seven thousand for fifty-seven thousand up and the clicks is, uh, you know, we got 587 traffic, so 90% of the traffic coming from United States. And then uh, the next one here is, you know, the, uh, a week old website. So this is just one week website. So you can see it starts establishing impressions from United States mainly. So it's very basic, guys. So what you just need to do, of course, it's obvious. You have to get keywords that, you know, discuss about something related to United States. And to easily get that, uh, I'm going to show you some examples. For example, this one, Goose Creek. What is Goose Creek? It is a city in South Carolina. So if we gather some, you know, uh, if you have a website like my, mine, which is this one, Explore Augusta. Augusta is, uh, you know, again, a city in uh, Georgia. So the easiest way is to talk about places, uh, particularly uh, a city uh, within any states of United uh, USA. Okay. Now here, uh, Goose Creek, let's say this keyword right here, we've got 59 keywords uh, related to Goose Creek, a city in South Carolina. And we've got lots of opportunities right here. We can do an inform informational site. Let's say, for example, we view all these questions right here. We can have a website, uh, you know, uh, uh, dedicated to Goose Creek. Let's say Goose Creek um, Explore.com, something like that, which uh, I made here, ExploreAugusta.ga.com. That's my website. And here I talk about lots of, you know, uh, things, you know, related to Augusta. So here, if you're going to make informational keywords, for the Goose Creek uh, city, so here are the keywords right here. What what country is Goose Creek? Uh, Goose Creek candles. Okay, this one were to buy Goose Creek candles. So things like that. So a lot of opportunities right here. So these are just the questions. You can go to all terms right here, and you see here Goose Creek weather. So you can uh, discuss about uh, you know anything about Goose Creek related, Goose Creek diner, Goose Creek candle, all uh, things related to Goose Creek city you know, in South Carolina. The same thing what I did here in Augusta. So for example, I type in Augusta tour and here I selected United States. As you can see, we've got pretty much 187 keywords that I can put on as a topic. And if you take a look at one keywords right here, for example, can you tour Augusta national? So let's take a look at these keywords. It got difficulty of 14. And if you scroll the uh, SERP here, uh, trip, tripadvisor.com, that's ranking number one, Cora.com. So that means there is no, you know, uh, direct, niche website ranking for uh, the uh, and I think this one is uh, you know augusta.com so that's fine uh, because as you can see we have good opportunity of ranking uh, if we can make a good article out of this keyword so you can easily go to ChatGPT and you know generate each of these uh, keywords as articles you can make them so for example I'm gonna do this can you tour Augusta National Golf so I think that's the same so we go for the long keyword right that like that so here uh, what else Augusta University tour so that's a pretty good keyword and a mining keyword because you know people outside Augusta will be maybe searching for a university within Augusta so you know that's a good opportunity right there and don't worry about the search volume because they will grow you know I always not worried about search volume because as long as uh, the data uh, there is data here in href that means people are searching for this one Augusta ghost tour wow interesting one so yeah lots of things can you tour augusta augusta train tour look at those uh, uh whale watching tour augusta so lots of things related in augusta um georgia and then you copy them let's say you copy them you go to uh you know your favorite generator tool so in my case article ai generator so here i'm going to generate pop articles and you paste that right there and here make sure you select basis so it will discuss anything about uh here in your keyword and it will list on you know uh details about the place or since this is just some information about Augusta so you can just say informational so yeah you can experiment whatever uh, you need so if you want to be uh, more factual you can use the GPT-40 or here you get the Claude Sonnet 3.5 so for now I'm gonna use Claude but um, you know if you want to save credit so just use the normal one then here you can choose short or medium article and what attracts most is you can generate Bob e, uh, generate featured image automatically with these five articles right here and yeah let's do digital art for now and 
this is the, uh, you know, helpful functionality for article AI. It can save time by directly posting that to your uh, blog. So if your blog is right here listed, you can add your sites. So just select them here. And because my blog is existing on Google, if you're going to generate bulk articles, if you're going to add more articles in your blog, what you need to do is set them in draft. Okay, make sure you set them in draft. And then let's generate them. Let's wait for a few uh, minutes for these five articles to be completed. So once these five articles got posted, and you see right here, they got posted successfully in your WordPress. So you go to your post section right here, and you can see these five drafts, new article. And what you need to do is install this auto post scheduler as uh, one of the plugins that, you know, very useful if you want to automatically publish article daily. So here, the configuration is uh, this one, auto post schedule. So you set that to, uh, if you want the scheduler to start the next day. Uh, so you set it here, let's say 24 hours uh, so after 24 hours, scheduler will, will publish the draft articles. Depends on your configuration here. So here, uh, it will check every, let's say, 24 hours. So every day, or you can just choose every one day. Uh, okay. So every day, it will check one draft article, and it will publish that. So here, you select the drafts. Okay. And number of posts to be published, just one. Max is just one. Okay. One post per day, you will need to publish or But you can change configuration if you want to. But, you know... Please keep in mind that if your art uh, blog is existing in Google, do not spam your blog, okay? Uh, make sure you publish it daily, one or two articles, safe as it's maybe up to three articles daily to publish. Don't publish um, bulk articles if it's in Google. You can do that if your site is brand new, like um, yeah, no pages are in that's in Google, then you can publish 700 articles, just like what I did here. I published 700 articles in one go when this site was new and was not indexed on Google. But when it's here and getting impressions already like this, make sure you, uh, you know, you have strategic strategy to publish your articles, you know, daily. Okay. So you do that, you set the configuration and then uh, save that. So save that right here, update options. Okay. And then you enable this one. So tomorrow, as you can see here, uh, June 30, it will start publishing one article per day. So that's the configuration that you need to do if your articles, if your blog is already existing on Google. Okay, so let's take a look at how the articles have been written. So for example, right here, Whale Watching Tour Augusta. So you can see right here, these articles, you know, explaining about your keywords, of course, and it's got, you know, structured uh, using SEO friendly uh, strategy. And, you know, it has decent number of words. Uh, one of the eligibility to rank on Google if you have enough words and if it's, you know, not a crappy article, of course. Um, and yeah, I think, uh, guys, that's about it. And if you want to see how this uh, Explore Augusta GA.com was built, you can check in the description below. And, you know, this is the one that's getting now 57,000 uh, impressions and we need to work on the uh, CTR so that uh, we can get at least, uh, you know, 5% uh, five, five click-through rate. Okay, because at the moment it's on 0 0.9. So we can work on that one. We can optimize all the articles, you know, that already ranking. And yeah, I think that's about it, guys. And if you have any questions, so just let me know in the comments. Thank you.